welcome to easy mind easy life okay so in a previous video i talked about what is stopping you from being happy right now i was listening to this video as i was um editing and doing all this stuff putting it together and uploading and i was thinking ah, i missed something really important okay as i was talking about that now what i wanted to say was you can be happy living in a trailer you can be happy living under a bridge homeless person you can be happy living in a high-rise apartment you could be happy you know it really doesn't matter where you're living it doesn't matter what clothes you're wearing it doesn't matter what car you're driving you can be happy it's always a choice you can choose to be happy with the car you have the house you have you can choose it but as i was going through that video i realized going towards the end and i was talking about love Now, I'll stick with the happy one for a minute because there was something there. What if you chose all of that because that's the experience you came here to have? What if your car keeps breaking down because it's trying to tell you something? There's a message for you there. What if your house keeps breaking down? And it is trying to tell you something. What if your children are always arguing with you? Can you be happy then? They're always defying you. Always trying to make you wrong or not listening to what you're trying to tell them. Can you be happy then? You know, uh... I don't like nagging, right? My mum was a real nag. And I thought, I'm never going to do that. And I never have. And I always remember when my little one was little, my daughter, um, I'd always tell her when we go out in the sun, you have to put on sunscreen, right? And uh, I might have already told you this story. I can't remember. But then she got to, and she would be like, eh, right? Because she didn't want to have it on. She hates the stickiness of it on her skin. <laughs> anyway. <laughs> One day we went, uh, we had a week in Queensland and there was a swimming pool. And I told her once, she was, I think, nine at the time. I'm trying to think now, eight, nine, eight. I told her once this time, I said, you need to put on your sunscreen. And I left it at that. I wasn't going to tell her three, four, five times until she did it. I thought, no, she's old enough. I've told her enough. And so she didn't. And she got her first sunburn. <laughs> It was after that and she said oh that's why you always tell me to put on sunscreen I said ah you know <laughs> not everything I tell you is because I want to be a pain in the neck is because I don't want to see you suffering but if suffering is your choice then by all means you know is what I said to her maybe you need to have the experience so that you'll remember next time and I won't need to tell you I've never had to tell her again about the sunscreen but it was just funny you know we sometimes we need to let our kids have their own experiences to understand why we keep telling them not to do something or to do something you know so anyway that's the kids one it was about the kids arguing and defying you it had nothing to do with her but I just thought that was funny um, that we rag on our kids so much sometimes so Yes, what is stopping you from being happy? I mean, you can walk away from the argument you had with your child and still go to do some gardening, be happy in yourself. It's just them growing up. You know, it's not a reflection on you at all. Your children are their own individual. They're here to have their own experiences, by the way. That may have nothing to do with the experiences you had. Trust me, because my daughter's the complete opposite. I used to love school, she hates school. Like, oh, I was devastated when she started school because I thought I was going to relive all that again with her. And I was like, no, nah, don't like reading, don't like maths, don't like, don't like anything. So I was like, whoop, took a step back from that and thought, okay, she's not me. Right. And uh, I have to respect her. She's going to have her own experiences, her own lessons in this life. Uh, 
I've had my life. You know, or I'm having my life. And I have my lessons. They don't necessarily need to be hers. So, anyway, the topic is what's stopping you from being happy. And I think the reason so many of us are not happy is because we are here, but we want to be there. We have this, but we want that. You know, just yesterday, my daughter was showing me a video of this girl having tattoos of freckles on her face. And girls that have freckles go to so much effort to cover it up with makeup because they don't like them being seen. I'm thinking, <laughs> are we going nuts? You know, it's like, why? People want what they don't have. What's wrong with everyone, you know? <laughs> um, yes, it's so easy to be happy if we stop comparing to what everyone else has. And we just accept that what we have right now is what we need right now. It's what we've chosen for our experience and give thanks for it. Everything that is showing up right now is loving us. Even if it seems like a pain, like a car breaking down all the time. We used to have that actually. That's why that came up. I remember at one stage we kept buying cars and no matter what we bought, they kept breaking down. I was like, ugh. <laughs> But it was just we were in such a different part of our lives you know so low vibration everything was just so negative and um yeah very different to when you step into loving and knowing that everything is loving you so there is nothing stopping you from being happy if you understand that what you have around you right now in this moment today is exactly what you need to have in your life for your experience not for your neighbors or not for whatever actor or actress you're admiring from a movie or you know whatever it is that you're you want that life no that's their experience and trust me it's not that great <laughs> you know they've all got problems too you think it looks perfect no it doesn't Everyone has their own problems because they're here to have their experiences and to grow from those experiences, to learn from those experiences. It doesn't matter where you are in the world, who you are in the world. Everyone has challenges, everyone has problems, problems, because it all depends on how you look at it. You can look at it as a problem, and you can look at it as an opportunity two different things aren't they hmm. so today I would really really ask you to sit where you are whether it's at your job that you don't like whether it's at home and you think it's all crap wherever it is sit for a moment just sit with yourself and just toss the idea around in your head I chose this what was I meant to learn from this what is the experience I wanted to have from where I am right now really look not with the mind with the heart really look around you and start to see that it is all there for you it is all there serving you in the highest so my darlings I'll leave you with that thought why do I have this in my life what am I meant to learn from this like with my body three times in the hospital with gallbladder attack three times the third time I got it I am not loving this vessel that I have chosen this beautiful body that works and works and works and works relentlessly to keep me alive so that I can see another day. Not once have I given gratitude for it or love for it until this weekend that just passed. Not once. So, is it time? No matter where you are in your life, no matter how your body is working, 
or how it's feeling is it time to be happy with what you've got to be grateful for what you have because honestly we look at others and we think oh they have an amazing life they've got problems too they have challenges too money doesn't take that away if anything, it probably creates more. <laughs> so, you know, it's not always the answer. All right, my darlings, I love you guys. Remember to click like and subscribe so you don't miss any of the messages. And I'll see you in the next video.